What up, y'all? It's Fresh Friday. Today, we have a good show for you today. Live in studio, coming up at 7 o'clock, Leon Thomas. Hey. Dropping his single with us. First, us. Not Power 106, not none of them other stations. Us. First, featuring Wiz Khalifa. Hello, how are you? It's That's going big. down. It's That's going big. down. Now, the artist that's in here right now, I would say is considered independent. He's doing his own thing, coming up. <laughs> I mean, the, the bullet points that we have to talk about this man, this young man here, you guys are going to be surprised, because I was. You guys can actually check it out, Real Talk on radio.com and all the links that lead to any and everything he has is on there. You guys check it out, all the fans. But this, this, this brother been working. You've been working, man. Yes, sir. I've been very blessed. It's been an you, awesome you, year for me. Is, man. is your mic on? Yeah. yeah is it on? Uh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, we should be. Three, two, there we go. Put up. There we go. There we go. There you go. Now this this dude has been working, man, and I'm gonna let you tell it. We'll get into it. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you know, it started off really great. I started working with uh, Babyface, and, and uh, that was really fun for me. Um, you know, doing a lot of production and songwriting. You know, we got a chance to do uh, the Ravon record, uh, Best Friend. And then, uh, so don't just slide past and let them know. I, I want to make sure they hear you because that song is rocking, you know? man. We man, even got it in rotation. Oh, really? Wow, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Because I love cool. the brother. Yeah, she's Carson Raiders. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying California. Exactly. Cali out here. So. You wrote that. Yeah, hey, I wrote that with my uh, production partner and her sister Ryan Brown, right uh, who also did the video, yeah. uh, the uh, music video for her. And it was really fun, man. I'm just blessed. That's what's up. Yeah. So how did you come up with that song, man? Well. <laughs> Somebody that I actually it. knew uh, was going through a similar situation, and, and you know I brought the idea, you know, to you know to my song uh, partners, and and, and uh, we just we just started started cooking up, you know, yeah. it just came came about. Man, and, did it take you a long time, right? Um, it took us about two sessions, two sessions to get like a full, really, you know, amazing song down. Because yeah, like, uh, I, I, yeah, I thought together. I thought Neil wrote it, man, and when I found out, I was like, this dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing this thizzle. Man, Does it come natural, that. songwriting? Oh, I love songwriting. I've actually been uh, doing it since I was about 12. Okay. Um, when I was 12, I auditioned for a movie called August Rush with Robin Williams and Terrence Howard. Yeah. And I actually got the role, and they, they had me learn how to play guitar. And one of the illest situations was, the second that I learned how to play, it just lyrics started coming to my head and started writing. And just ever since then, I've been, you know, writing records and kind of doing my own thing. <laughs> and what do you like most about the music? You like the music, putting the music out, or now the songwriting? What? Well, I mean, I, I really love touring. I love uh, performing oh, live. And, most yeah, most yeah I got a chance. To, <laughs> I got a chance to go on tour with Big Time Rush, and that was a stadium tour, so that was like twenty thousand seat arenas. And yeah. I really got a taste of exactly how I'd like to perform. And, you know, now I know that. This year, you know, I really want to hit the colleges. I want to do a bunch of, you know, college tours. Yeah. And, and just really work my way up. That's right. what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. I don't want to take over all of the questions. Go ahead, Mike. I mean, <laughs> man. So, I heard friend. you play five different instruments. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you mentioned the guitar. What else do you have? Um, piano, drums, bass, uh, saxophone. But the thing is, I'm actually going to stop saying sax because I haven't played in about a year and a half. So I just want to make sure. But I mean, you started. <laughs> you started. Yeah, I started it really early, man. And, and, and um, you know, I've been I've been doing a little bit of everything for a while now. Yeah. So do you have a favorite out of all of them? Well, I mean, I I just like being creative. And, and um, guitar gives me the, the freedom to just kind of, you know, flow and, and freestyle. So yeah, I love guitar the most right I noticed on your video you were playing, uh, you played the bass. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. The bass is amazing. I mean, I think right. it kind of makes me uh, stand out. It's like, all right, right a lot of cats play guitar, but not many can sing and play bass. It's right, yeah, and thing, that's you know? it right there. To sing and to play bass is a whole yeah, different ballgame. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah that's, that's the interesting part. <laughs> Thank now, the you. Tour, the tour that you guys put together for the first quarter, you, are you actually going to do everything? Or is it... You, you stick well, you know, to a certain specific. I think it should really always be about the songs. Mm -hmm. I think it should always be about the fans and just giving them exactly what they want. And um, you know, if that's having me up there playing a bunch of instruments, I mean, that'll be really fun. But I, I just want to make sure that the overall show is just 
beautiful, whatever that means. Well, you already know how, how uh, Beyonce and all the rest of these cats do it. They get down there and just look like they, I mean, you know it's rehearsed, of course, mm -hmm. but they be improv man. Yeah, yeah. You I mean, that. improv is great, yeah. You might as well. You know, you got especially them loyal fans. Right. Get about at least ten of them. Ask, hey man, can you get your guitar out, please? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, you might as well. That's what's up, man. So, Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, yeah. Wiz is a great mentor right now, and you know, just a big brother in the game. He's, he's a dope dude. A good dude. Really good, really, dude. really good dude. Family oriented. Man, tell him. And, and tell just him. business minded, man. I mean, people don't understand how smart that man is, and and. Uh, I just can't wait to. And how humble he is. Uh, humble, humble, and he's all about his team, man. I saw the documentary. How, what, what made you guys want to get that uh, track again? Well, I was actually doing a mixtape at the time, and I was talking to my manager, and I was like, hey, man, I don't know if this is the craziest thing, because he's probably one of the biggest rappers out right now, but I think Wiz would sound amazing on it. Um, yeah. And uh, my manager was like, that's a good idea. We you know, approached his manager, uh, Benji Grimberg, and the next thing I knew, I was signing Rosh from Records. And, and you know, just doing some really great things. Big thing. Yeah, Big yeah. Thing. How did it feel? Awesome. I mean, I've been signed to Columbia Records since I was 14, um, but you know, I just know that their joint ship between you know Columbia and Rostrum is just going to be an amazing thing. I mean, Rostrum is such a marketing beast, man. They really know how to work. Is the team big now? Um, the team is very strong. I'm gonna ask you this about your uh, ASCAP. The Leon was featured in this month. ASCAP. Yeah. On the come up. Nice. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, I mean. Well, first, before you talk about it, remember we're an indie show. Right. And we like to be a testament to the independent artists and tell them how, basically teach them or tell them little tidbits on how to get to that level. Mm -hmm. Tell them what it is first. Well, I mean, right now ASCAP is just a really great, great place for me to stay creative. Um, you know, I've been working with my production partner, uh, Chris, three times for about, I want to say, a year and a half, you know, two years. And the Rascals, you know, we've really made an impact on the industry this year. And I'm just excited to see what we can do, you know, moving forward. Uh, he's 22. Yeah, 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 brother. yeah so, I mean, that's why we call ourselves the Rascals. The young folks. We would be, like, <laughs> the youngest dudes in the room right, 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 anywhere right. we went, you know, in right. the industry. It's funny because, like, you know, we had a... 20 piece or 16 piece orchestra, nice. uh, laying some stuff on a song, and yes, they were kind of looking at us like the interns. They weren't sure who to look at, like right, who's, right. who's 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 right. running this session right now, you know. Um, so I mean, it, it's just been right. cool, yeah. yeah. It's been really, it's been chill. That's what's up, man. And it just the work that you guys doing is is like the whole Ariana Grande, the half a daggone album. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good friend of mine. I mean, we, we spent hours and hours and hours on set talking about music and our dreams. And, you know, she's really made something happen off of, you know, the platform of Nickelodeon. It really worked out for her in that way. You know, I was so glad to be a part of that musically. Mm -hmm. And just to give her the bed in order to sing on and, 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 and to just express herself creatively was, was really great. You know, How do you feel about the fact that it's still kind of a surprise to everybody? Like, nah, nah, ain't nothing for you. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. The thing is, is that this is only the beginning, and, and, and Ariana's, you know, an amazing friend of mine, and I know we're going to continue to work together. But there's also going to be other artists that we, you know, lend our services to. So I'm excited to awesome. just, you know, keep it, it keep it cracking. It was yeah. dope. Which what song do you think she did the best? A Honeymoon Avenue is probably my favorite joint on there, and Tattooed Heart uh, okay. is another one we did with her, and she went in and, and, and cut the song in like four takes. Okay. And, I mean, I, just because she cut it in four takes was pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. From top to bottom. Was, now, when you, you don't see that often. When you write, I'm talking about it. Yeah. 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 When you write, because you know a lot of people are professors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you, you go, they're going to bring A's because yeah, you're young, you're doing your thing, you're big up, I'm proud of you, bro. But when you write, are you a professor? Like when you hear. Like let's just use Ariana for, for for example. When you hear someone sing the song that you guys put out, are you like, no, I think I want it to come out like that, or you just let them go with it? I mean, vocal production is probably one of my favorite processes. Mm -hmm. You know, just just really being there and 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 making sure that we get every line perfect. You know, <laughs> is very important because you really only get one chance to yeah. really knock it out before it hits mixing. And um, she, she's such a professional, and, and she's a perfectionist herself. So because she there was like more than one in the room, I think we uh, we just made it work. The rascal, she needs to be a rascal too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> she's a little busy. <laughs> yeah, y'all busy, man. Yeah. You guys are super busy. Big Nello, that got some camera. <laughs> yeah. 
So, where's Khalifa? Right. Man. So what was the inspiration behind this one too, man? I mean Well, I just um I just finished headlining the Roxy and to be honest it was an okay show. Like it was cool. And the audience they really didn't I didn't connect with them like I thought I would that night. And uh -oh. I just wanted to give give That's you know what affects this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I just wanna give all of my fans, just everybody who would listen to me, something that is easily digestible, yeah. something that everybody can just listen to. to. And told me yeah, I'm the biggest star you ever seen. Yeah, come on, don't never lie to me. I took a trip, travel to the sun. I told me that I was the only one. But come on, don't never lie to me. I'm flying, hey, hey, I'm flying to a land called Aquarius. I, uh, I said I'm flying, flying to a land called Aquarius. Uh, yeah, uh, da 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 da. See people look you dead straight in the eye and tell you everything your heart desires, but the moon don't never lie to me. Uh, uh, see I've been walking in a real time. You give me water, but my mouth still dry. Yeah. Moon don't never lie to me. I'm flying, hey, hey, I'm flying to a land called Aquarius. I, yeah, yeah. Huh. I said I'm flying, flying to a land called Aquarius, baby. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Do 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 do. Please go down on that.